Here's my idea of a hospital shared ward survival kit. A good eye mask that blocks out light and has no gaps, light gaps. Ear defenders that you can fit earbuds in. And obviously a phone. Well that's it really, because you won't really know where you are if you've got all this stuff going. I got the eye mask out of Home Bargains for £10, well £9.99. But I refuse to say that. If you get an eye mask, you want to make sure it doesn't let any light through at all because a lot of them do or they used to. But maybe the industry is developing now where even the eBay ones, the cheap ones. But I can't confirm that. So this one, Home Bargains, definitely does that. It doesn't let light through the cloth and it doesn't let any light gaps through either. Because the nose, usually it's the nose that lets gaps through. And it's really comfy, this one. It's well padded. No eye pressure. So something like that. But to me, you really need ear defenders as well. I mean, people would say you could get earbuds with noise cancelling and that. I don't know, because I've not... I mean, just don't have noise cancelling. I've not had it. A set that do have noise cancelling so but ear defenders to me I know for sure it's going to be really good obviously if you lie on your side it's a bit awkward but not too much but it's worth it in my opinion any discomfort because I feel sorry for anybody in a hospital ward or, or any place where they're trying to sleep or want privacy you know like you're on a plane or whatever and a good set of earbuds well that I've got a different, that I've got a decent life memory time because uh, I mean I think most people would be listening to talk I don't know I don't know podcasts and that but that's you you're all set up for your hospital ward visit because hospital shared wards are miserable if I was a government health minister I would give these out probably in, in the hospital. Well, it's going to cost a bit, I suppose, but I think it's worth it, you know, because somebody in your ward might be dying an emergency, have a heart attack or something, two o'clock in the morning, you know, it's a pretty stressful situation. But you could use this anywhere, you know, where you're travelling. I mean, it's as if I'm pointing at the obvious, but I don't think most people are probably going to think of this. You know, I saw an interview about uh, the new children's hospital in, in Glasgow and uh, the consultant was saying that they had an input to the design and they've made it an open ward where you have just curtains between each thing and one of the nurses said that one of the good things about the old hospital was they all had their own private rooms and it meant the noise didn't, you know, didn't go right round. Everyone wasn't annoyed by one person making a noise or whatever, you know, or disturbed, you know, and uh, that's just something people don't think about noise, they don't think about noise pollution in houses, you know, hearing your neighbours and stuff like that, so if you get a noisy neighbour, this is a good kit as well, well, you don't need the mask, but ear defenders and earbuds, your noisy neighbour can be as noisy as you like, alright, that's it, survival kit, I mean, you could take that anywhere, wild camping or, you know, where they get all the noises, especially if it's windy or something. It's all good. Never underestimate ear defenders, earbuds especially. But, and also sleeping masks if, if you're wanting to block it, total light and all that. Alright, cheerio.